Hello, hello, how are you today? Well, I hope someone's turned the cold tap on. We really know we're in winter now, don't we? So today we're going to make a nice big reinforced box and we're going to use the In Good Taste Designer Series paper, which is in the new catalogue, which goes live tomorrow so you can order from this tomorrow and um, that's June Wednesday June 3rd you'll be able to the um, online store will be closed for a little while plus when you go into order tomorrow you'll notice there's a new online store so um, it's all been upgraded and looks fantastic so um, yeah lots of exciting things happening and at the moment now don't forget it's the final day of the last chance products so um, get them before they're gone I know I always say that but they're gone tomorrow for good and there's some great discounts in there so um, make sure you get what you need now if you're after a bundle that um is in the any of the current catalogs so in either the current annual catalog or the 2020 may to, um january to to june um mini catalog uh get them now because they're 10% off as a bundle in the current catalogs and once the new catalog goes live if those bundles are carried over they will no longer be bundles you'll have to pay 10% more for them plus there's lots of um, ribbons and embellishments uh, there's the 20 18 to 2020 in colors are retiring so if you haven't if you've got those in colors and you haven't got the re-inkers it's all right i'm just sorting paper here um get them before yeah tomorrow otherwise you've lost them all right so um I don't think there's anything else. I'm just going to refresh my screen. Had a haircut yesterday. Oh, it was so nice. My fringe was so long, it was getting in my eyes and bothering me. And I'm not a real fringe person. But anyway, I'm going to love it. So, um, say hello. Let me know you're here. And maybe let me know where you're from and um, what you're up to has COVID-19 got you down are you over it <laughs> I know um, things have just started to open back up again here so that's wonderful and um, yeah so I'm just sorting this DSP so you can have a look at it and it's the In Good Taste DSP which is in the brand new catalogue so um, have you been creative at all and if so what have you created I've been doing some scrapbook pages I don't think I might be able to show them to you in a minute so anyway um yeah i think that's about all the announcements i've got so last chance products new catalog starts tomorrow new online store tomorrow and yeah um we might get going Ooh. i'm on the wrong page i am Okay, just checking to see who's here. And 
Don't forget you can buy all the products that I use today in, the, in my online store and I'd love you to shop with me. So, don't forget to share with your friends. Hello Leonie Newman, hello Kay Jacob. Right, don't forget to share this with your friends and um, without further ado I'm going to turn the camera around and we're going to get started because uh, this box takes um, a little while it's an easy box to make but it does take a bit of time so I'll just turn this camera around and bring in, whoops, I've put all the paper over where I was going to pl place the camera stand. So I'll just, um, might not be able to show all that to you like that. But anyway, we'll see how we go, eh? I'll put all that to one side so I can bring the camera in. And... Uh, in a bit of a mess today all right so bring the camera in turn it round at least it's working again this week Unlike a couple of weeks ago when it was just terrible. All right, here's our box. So um, it's quite a sturdy box. Um, this one's out of Night of Navy and I've used the Night of Navy and Sahara Sand Baker's Twine to shut it. It would make, you could make it for... Uh, female or masculine doesn't matter so it's quite a, a big box and I've reinforced the sides here and the same with the lid the sides of the lid are reinforced and yeah it would fit quite a bit in so that's what we're going to make today now this is the DSP I was fiddling with while chatting with you and it's just gorgeous. I don't know if you can see all those, but anyway, um, really, really nice. So we're going, it, it coordinates with basic grey, early espresso, grey granite, night of navy, petal pink, rococo rose, smoky slate, very, excuse me, very vanilla and whisper white. So we're going to create today with some smoky slate and I think this paper might look good on it. It looks like fabric um, on one side and the other side's this but you've got all these beautiful patterns and of course it's double-sided and you get um, 24 sheets. 12 by 12 or 13.5 by 13.5 and it's acid and lignin free and I've got to say it's really lovely quality um, paper it's hard to find good quality paper these days Stampin Up always have good quality paper and I'm trying not to be biased here but you know they do it's just really good paper all right so um, yeah, it is lovely, isn't it, Leone? Hi, Leslie. How is it out at Broken Hill? Hi, Rails. How are you? Thanks for sharing, Rails. All right, so I'm going to get started. And you'll need three pieces of cardstock. You'll have a few bits of leftover. And I've chosen to use Smoky Slate today. So, 
and I think that will go nicely. All right, so what you need to do is have some coffee <laughs> or hot chocolate or a cup of tea. What's everyone's beverage of choice? It's quite cold here today. I know. Had the heater on this morning to heat up my room. Um, yeah, and I've had to turn it off to do this so there's not that noise in the background. All right, you're going to cut one piece of card. Um, yeah, let me consult my notes here. One piece of card seven and five eighths by seven and five eighths or nine point nine by nine point nine. No, nineteen point nine. Sorry, not nine. What am I thinking about? All right. So that's a leftover piece that you can use for something else. And 19.9 or 7 and 5 eighths. All right. And then you're going to score at 1 inch and 2 inches all the way round or um, 2.5 and 5 centimetres. All right, so I'll do the one inch first. So one inch all the way around. And make sure it's exact because otherwise your lid won't fit properly. So that's one inch all the way around. And then two inches, so two point five all the way around, or five centimet and then five centimeters. So we're making the lid first. So you'll be able to see how this is reinforced. I think that's all of the score lines. All right, so I'll put that to one side. Actually, while I've got my trimmer out, I'm going to trim up this DSP. So the DSP, you need um, Four pieces that are five inches by three and three eighths of an inch or 12.5 by 8.5 so if I do the five inches or 12.5 by three and three eighths or 8.5 One. Whoops, I think that might have been wrong. No. Three eighths. There we go. Two. got to be three and a quarter inches by three and a quarter inches or 8.5 by 8.5 so I'm going to do just 
just trying to think how best to do that. Strain three eighths. I'll do that one now. And then do five. Then um, three and a quarter by three and a quarter or eight point five by eight point five, so three and a quarter by three and a quarter or eight point five. So the little piece is for the lid and the other pieces are for the side of the box. So move them out of the way. Move the trimmer out of the way for the time being. All right, I'll bring in the lid that we scored um, previously and just burnish all those score lines. Hi Linda. No, hi Lynn. Sorry. Sorry Lynn. Alright, so pick two opposing sides. So we'll pick this one here. Cut right up the score lines. On both ends. Flip it around, cut right up the score lines on both ends. Do the opposite end. All right, now this tab you're going to cut off. And you're going to cut this tab off. Right, so it sort of resembles that. Brain's not working, must need more coffee. Alright, so your lid sort of looks like that, okay? Then you're going to come in and you need to mitre these because they're going to be folded inside. So mitre all the cut lines and these ones as well so you want to miter all these cut lines just helps the um, lid fold in better and sit neatly when you put it all together. Okay. 
You don't have to miter a lot off, but I like to miter a, a bit off the, the top flap um, so that when you fold it in, it does sit nicely. Right, anyone see my technique video yesterday? This is the chalkboard technique using beautiful moments. I know Rails did. Every Monday I do a technique um, in my How Do I Do That videos. Next week I've got cling wrap. Cling wrap 101 next week and then probably the following week will be cling wrap 102. Alright, so I think we've nearly mitered all those corners. Can't have too many more to go. No, we're done. Let's tidy this one up. Right. Let's get rid of all my scrappies. Okay, so turn your box lid over and here's where your DSP comes in handy. And we're going to just glue that to the top of our box using liquid glue. Now, I use liquid glue throughout the box. You could use tear and tape if you wanted to. All right. So we're going to put glue on two of these little tabs. And fold them in. And you want nice right hand corners. Or, you know, right angle corners. Oh, there we go. And just hold them while the glue takes. Oh, thanks, Leonie. Okay. Then... Same on this other side, so put some glue on the tabs. Next week I'm hoping to do a double swing card with some of the new products. So <laughs> watch this space, I have to experiment during the week. I've got grandchildren arriving Friday night, which will be lovely. My son-in-law arrives tomorrow night um, he's installing some solar at a friend's place and so he'll stay and his apprentice will stay Thursday night and then we'll strip the bed so Hunter can sleep in his bed on Friday night and it's movie night so it's just some good movies we could watch um, they said we could choose, so Gran and I get to choose the movie, and um, yeah, apparently we sit under blankets, I'll have to find some blankets, and because just the two of us at home. Alright, so now we're going to stick these um, top bits in, and this is makes the reinforced lid, so yeah, just the two of us here, we don't often have 
blankets out. All right, come in with your bone folder and just reinforce that with your bone folder. I might do that with the tabs as well. Shuffle with liquid glue is, yes, um, it's good, but it doesn't, it takes a little bit of time to take. Um, but you could use tear and tape. I just think the liquid glue's stronger when it finishes adhering, you know, when it finishes gluing itself down. So we're going to glue all these tabs in. Yeah, I like the DSP. It's really nice. Thanks, Leonie. So glue that down. And you're going to do that with all four tabs. So I'll just go ahead and see if I can do two tabs at once to um, make things happen a bit quicker. And I've just suddenly thought, I think I cut one of those bits of DSP out. Um, with the grain going the wrong way hopefully it won't matter so glue those in hold them until they stick all right and then just go around with your bone folder and make sure they're all glued down. Sometimes they want to pop back up again. All right, that'll do for that. So there's our lid. Okay, now for our base, you need two pieces A4 size. Um, which is 11 and 5 eighths and you want it seven and a half wide or uh, 19 centimeters all right and when um, I put this up on my blog I'll put all the measurements all right Anyone else have trouble with their trimmer not wanting to play ball and pop up when you're finished with it? All right, 17, seven and a half or 19 centimetres, and it's 29.7 centimetres long, or what did I say? 11 and 5 eighths, I think. All right, now you need your scorer. Now, um, you need to follow this it just works this way so what you're going to do is come in and score and you'll score both pieces the same um, at three and a half and seven inches or 8.2 centimeters and 17.8 so what did I say three and a half and you need to be exact. And seven. All right, so score both pieces the same. So three and a half or eight point nine and seven or seventeen point eight to 
just have a slip coffee. Now turn it so that the half inch or the whatever's left, 1.5 centimeters almost, um, is um, at the bottom. All right. So have this little tab at the bottom and then score at three inches or 7.6 centimeters. Then flip it around and score at three and a half or 8.9 centimeters. It just works. Don't ask me why, it just works. All right, so just once more with the narrow tab at the bottom score at three inches or 7.6 centimeters and be exact and then at, flip it around and score at three and a half or 8.9 centimeters Okay, so that's all we need our trimmer for. Now we need to cut away some bits and bobs. So we're going to come in and, no, we're going to burnish all those score lines first. So burnish your score lines. On those pieces and then um, and you'll notice your squares you've got um, a smaller end this end is smaller than these two ends so the smaller end is going to be your base so come in and burnish your score lines now when you score, you should fold with that line on the outside because your scoring tool actually breaks the fibres in the card and you'll get a, a sharper fold if you score with the scoring line on the outside. All right, now... We're going to come in and do some cutting. We're going to cut away this tab here. And you can miter it a bit because that's the um, short end. That's going to go in as our base. So miter that. Then you're going to come in and cut up the centre here. And I'm going to mitre that as well. And on the base, if you have any hangover, just cut it off before you glue the base on. But I'll show you when we get to that what I mean. Yep, this bit doesn't want to come. All right, so then you're going to mitre this bit of the tab. Done that the wrong way, haven't I? It doesn't matter. All right, and take this tab off, this piece off. Just mitre that in. Now, I'm going to be a little bit more generous with my mitre on the large boxes because they're the ones that are going to fold in and you want a nice, neat um, fold in. You want them to sit neatly. 
inside your box that's the reinforcement all right so we've got all those bits um, and I'm just going to mitre this one here all right so that's one might just mitre this one here so mitre all your corners okay all right come in with your other piece and you're going to do exactly the same so cut away the tab and mitre the corners. Cut up here. So you're gonna cut all the, the boxes to the center and mitre the corners off on each box. Now this does make a good sturdy box so if you wanted to put something sort of heavy in it, paperweight, <laughs> I don't know what else, um, you can and then mitre this one as well. Alright, flip it around. Mitre it off as you cut to the tab. And then mitre these ones as well. Alright, so almost finished all our cutting. idea that this might be a good masculine box and you could use um uh, get up garage or you know the dies that go with that all right now these two little boxes the little boxes are your bottom all right so we're going to come in and glue the tabs down. So I'll just go my bone folder again and crease that down. All right, put your boxes together like that. So you've got a tab, the tabs are on your left and you're just going to glue down. Now I like to run some glue right along the edge, a little bit crooked, and then up the other side, just to make sure it sticks nicely. All right, marry them up again, if they moved, and then just fold that over and hold it down to dry sorry if you can hear me slurping coffee all right and then go down it with your bone folder flip it over if you haven't glued it to your mat that's a good one All right, and just make sure that's nicely done. All right, now, just need to cut that bit off there. All right, now, the little ends, 
are your base so the top ends are going to be your inside so when the box closes all these are down all right and this tab glues into here so we're not going to glue that one down yet so you can put glue on all these other ones and glue them down so I'll just quickly do that so glue and glue leave the last one up Right, and glue them down. Okay. Okay. That's all right. Okay, Lynn. Alright, so glue those down. Alright, now flip your box over and glue your DSP on because now's the best time to do that. Now I think that's the wrong, going the wrong way, so we'll put that on the back. And it's easier to put your DSP on before. Or you put your box together that it is after you put your box together if anyone else had trouble doing that but make make something and then try and put your DSP on it and um, it doesn't work out quite so snug so well what are your tips for adhering DSP to things like boxes and panelled cards and what have you. If you've got some good tips you can share with everyone. my computer too far away today oh, I'm missing a piece of DSP I think I'm nearly out of glue One of the good things about liquid glue is that it gives you wriggle time. Oh, another piece. That must be it. No, that bit's too long. No, that's it. Okay, we're right. Got glue all over me. Alright, so now we've got our DSP on. I'm going to clean my fingers off because I've managed to get glue everywhere. Alright, now here's the exciting bit. Flip it over. Use your bone folder to just smooch that down a bit. Put some glue on it. So glue on the tab. 
Then fold this over so that it meets and just hold that down for a minute. Just had a wet wipe out. Now I don't know what I've done with it. All right, so hold that down while it um, adheres. Then come in with your bone folder and give it a good smooch. You give your whole box a bit of a smooch if you like. So flip it over, make sure it's nicely adhered. Okay, then you're going to come in and put glue on this tab here, the last one. Now the reason we do this is so that you hide the little tab on the side that you've just glued down really. It's just to make the finish a bit neater. So open your box up and pop that tab inside and hold it down. Just hold that down for a second while it dries. Yeah, wiggle room's good, isn't it, Dale? All right, so now here comes the fun part, putting it together. Now, here's where we joined it. It's a bit hard to see, but that's going to be the back of our box all right so pop the two sides in square up your box now sometimes oh, that bit still didn't stick it's good to put your box inside your lid so you know it's going to be square all right so put your lid on Put your box inside now just check which is the back that's that's the back so it goes in put some glue on it now you can put glue on the bottom of the back flap and glue it down and then put glue on the bottom of the top flap and glue it down. Now, if you want to, put the flaps down before you glue them and then if you've got any um, excess that you haven't mitered, you can trim it off before you actually glue the base down. So, and there we have our nice sturdy box. So how good's that? You could come in with some um, geared up garage. Is that what it's called? Um, just having a look here. Garage gears. You could come in with those in um, basic black and just add them to the front or the back um, or you could come in with some of the sailing away dies and add them so there's our box and it's quite sturdy um, you can see I didn't I should have put this one together with the box inside the lid so that makes it that doing it that way putting the box inside the lid before you glue the base together make sure it all fits excuse me so that's our box for today yep i'll put all the measurements up on uh, my blog to rails towards the end of the week um, but it's a good sturdy box and you could make it as I said masculine or feminine especially with this DSP 
which is just gorgeous. Um, there's some pretty pinks and what have you in there as well. Um, so Rococo Rose goes nicely with it. I forget where that bit is. Um, there it is. Look, isn't that gorgeous? Sort of looks like um, knitting. <laughs> but anyway, so that's our box. Thanks so much for stopping by today. Um, don't forget all these products are available in my online store. This DSP will be available tomorrow. And today's the last time to get your last chance products. So um, if you haven't shared with your friends this video, I'd appreciate it if you shared. I can't post you a box in the mail, but I might be able to post something else that's small off to you. Um, yeah, so thanks again. And I'll see you again next week, same time, same bat channel. Bye for now.